Welcome back, golfers. My name is Michael Geiger with Second Swing. I'm sitting down with Second Swing expert club fitter, Larry Bobka. Today, Larry, we're talking about a great golf ball with an interesting paint job, the Srixon Z Tour Divide Golf Ball. First off, right off the bat, let's talk about the fact that this is the same Srixon Z Tour ball that you'll find, the typical right. white golf ball that you'll see on, on store shelves. It's got the fast layer core, a three-piece urethane construction. So it's the same Z Tour golf ball you're familiar with, but let's start with, it's got, it's got quite an interesting look. It does have an interesting look. I've, I've seen these in yellow and blue, and we've got yellow and orange, and now they're coming out with this white and yellow, which is a, you know, maybe a little less bothersome to some people. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, if you, you look at this golf ball, and I'm old enough to remember that, you know, Ping was in the golf ball business, and they actually did a, they did a golf ball like this that was painted two different colors. Uh, I, I don't remember if they, they touted anything about spin rates or anything when it came, when they did the ping ball or if it was other just to be a little bit different. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, there's been training golf balls like this all along. I've used in, in teaching short game and putting, um, Eyeline Golf makes a black and white golf ball. Um, you know, Quintech, Paul Hurion has a black and white golf mm -hmm. ball to kind of separate Hey, if if you know if the two halves are rolling good, you don't have a lot of side spin, or if you set it the other way and you roll it this way and it's rolling over, then we've got enough overspin. Right. So to me, these are great training aids. In fact, with uh, with my students, probably 75 to 80 percent of them uh, have these and practice with these because it's a good way for them to. Um, figure out, you know, when I'm not there or the Quintech's not available, they can, they can practice on their own sure. and, and get, get feedback from this golf ball. So uh, I think it's a, it's a great thing that Srixon's doing. Definitely. So I think a lot of golfers might say, hey, I think Srixon makes a great ball, golf ball, but just might be immediately maybe turned off by such a loud color. I think a lot of golfers, they view colored golf balls as just, that's just in general, not for them. And they just put it off to the side. But it sounds like what you're saying is there's a lot of utility for them, even if you keep them in your basement or in your office, just as a, as a training aid. Well, yeah, and, and keep one in your golf bag when you go practice. Exactly. You know, if, if, if you putt with a line on the golf ball, okay, usually you use the, you know, you'll use the side stamp or you'll use one of those tools and you'll take the Sharpie and you'll mark it. Well, this one goes all the way around. Mm -hmm. And this gives you very visual feedback that is, is the ball's rolling. If it's wobbling this way down the road, it, it definitely, we, you've got some side spin on your putts, which you don't want to have, meaning there's something wrong with your stroke or your putter. Right. That's why you come get putter fit from us. Exactly. So if, if there's wobble, but this gives a good feedback that it's not. I mean, I, I have one player that she hits her first six putts with one of these golf balls, and okay. if everything's rolling fine, then she just goes on and does the rest of her work. If she's not, then she'll do a little bit of path work. Uh, the other thing too is, is, is we test on Quintech, you know, we're testing for overspin, mm -hmm. trying to create as much overspin as you can. Well, if you set the ball this way as you hit your putt, then you can see it turning this way. Right. Well, and if it's turning fast, you can see that you're creating enough overspin, the loft on your putter looks pretty good, and you're creating a good roll. But if it's turning very slowly, you know, it's time to come see me. Uh, it's always a pleasure to see you, Larry. Yeah. Um, so from a performance standpoint, it, it's sort of a softer golf ball. What would you say, just strictly from the numbers, who would you say this golf ball is sort of ideally for, just from a performance standpoint? From a performance standpoint, well, it, it really comes in, it comes in both of the, you know, this one's now their Z star, mm -hmm. this is their Q star. I mean, majority golfers are gonna play pretty darn well with this golf ball. I mean, one of the things that, for me, if I was gonna play this golf ball that turns me off a little bit is, it's the matte finish. Right. Not a big fan of matte finish golf balls, mm -hmm. you know, just not used to seeing them. Sure. Golf balls always been shiny. And I think that's why they went ahead and they made the Z-Star. If you see it here, it's a, it's a traditional shiny finish golf ball. It's going to look a lot better. Um, I don't know. There's just, to me, there's just something about that matte finish on a golf ball that right. just doesn't do. So I would think that might be a thing that would turn people off. But otherwise, 
you know, as, as having a practice ball or having, you know, even from a standpoint of hitting chips on the green. Right. I mean, you can see how they're, you know, you can put it there, you can put it down this way, you can see how it's going, you can turn it the other way, you can see how the spin rate is. I mean, I think it's, I think it's a great tool to give you some feedback on, on what you're doing when you don't have a launch monitor or a Quintech available. Exactly. I think this is a really great, great overview of this ball. I think in general, the Strixon Z2 or Divide is a very good ball for, in performance wise for a lot of golfers, but it's probably the ideal training aid for every golfer. I think, I think there's a lot of utility in every single player. There's really no harm in rolling a few putts with this thing and then swip, swatch, swapping your ball out for your usual Chrome Soft or Pro V1. But I think there's a lot of utility for every golfer just to have one of these just you know kind of on the side. Well, and, it, and it's good too from a standpoint too, because a lot of times players are concerned, well, if I practice with this and then I play with a Pro V1, are, are my putting, is it going to be different? Right. Does a ball play? No. We've done so much ball testing that you're not going to get a performance. You might get a little feel difference because sure. this might be a little softer than your golf ball mm -hmm. or might be a little harder. So you might get a little bit of feel difference off the putter. But you're not going to get a performance difference that if you practice with this and go play with something else that you're going to have a problem. Right. In fact, if you, I, I can tell you, if you can practice with this and you can make this thing roll in two halves down the road, uh, I'm not going to bet you. Well, Larry, uh, I would not bet against you. And uh, once again, thank you for sitting down, breaking down these tricks on Z Tour Divide. To pick up your own sleeve of these bad boys, we encourage you to go to your nearest Second Swing or check out secondswing.com. Thanks for watching.